Hello, this is Henry Nacino, and I'm a Solutions Engineer on the Google Cloud Platform team. Today's session, I am going to cover Google Cloud Single Sign-On. Um, we're going to talk about how to use an external identity provider as your IDP in a single sign-on scenario. So, a little bit, so for the first maybe uh, 10, 5, 10 minutes, I'm going to cover some um, level setting slides and then go into a demo on, on how to configure and how SSO works with Google Cloud Platform using a third party, party identity provider. So quick look at the agenda. So quickly we'll cover some SAML terminology if you're new to SAML. Uh, it's the actual flow for the SSO login and then a demonstration and then we'll go into a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, things that you probably or may encounter as you try to get SSO enabled for Google Cloud. So a little bit about some terminology. So the single sign-on flow for Google Cloud supports SAML version 2.0. And if you're not familiar with SAML, think of it as a, an XML-based uh, markup language for exchanging data between a service provider, in this case Google Cloud Platform, and an identity provider. In this example, I'll be using uh, Auth0 as my identity provider. So as your kind of SAML 101, Think of there's three components in this SAML exchange. There's the principal, typically it's a, a user trying to get access to an application, and there's an identity provider. So the principal requests a service from the service provider, so access to an application. The service provider requests and obtains an identity assertion from an identity provider. So basically we want to be able to uh, authenticate this user, and the basis of this assertion Basically, the identity, based on the identity of this person, the service provider will make a access control decision, whether or not to let the user access the app or not. So in my example that I'm going to go through today, the principal is a user who's trying to access Google Cloud Platform Console. The service provider is Google Cloud Platform. And the identity provider could be any identity provider that supports SAML version 2.0, uh, such as Ping. In my example, uh, because there's a free trial for Auth0, I'm going to go ahead and use Auth0 as my identity provider. So quickly, um, I put the URL here in the top corner, so I'm not going to read through all of this, but this is the actual flow that occurs when a user uh, where single sign-on has been enabled in this particular domain um, or in this particular account. And this is the flow that's going to that's going to occur when the user tries to access a GCP console URL. So in this case, the user is going to go ahead and try to access this application, and the application, in this case, the service provider Google, is going to generate a SAML request, and the SAML request is going to go ahead and get redirected back out to a URL, back out to our third-party identity provider. The third party identity provider is going to go ahead and authenticate this user. So typically, he's going to uh, redirect to a, to a sign-on page or a login page, going to go ahead and authenticate the end user, and then going to go ahead and send a SAML response back and back out to the, um, back out to the service provider, in this case, Google. And then Google will take that SAML response or that SAML assertion and decide to either let that user into the application or deny access to the application. So these eight steps are outlined in detail here on the right side. Also, I'll put the URL so you can read through that as well. Uh, but just know it's this is the typical flow of the uh, SAML single sign-on. So some prerequisites before you kind of get started and understand what you need to get from both sides. So the idea is there's a that is there's an SP or a service provider, in this case Google Cloud Platform, and there's a IDP or identity provider, in this case it's Auth0. So if I'm configuring the service provider, there's three things I'm going to need in order to kind of configure a single sign-on. First, I'm going to need the sign-in page, and the sign-in page is you're going to get that from, the, from your identity provider. The sign-out page, you're going to get that from your identity provider and a verification certificate, which also you're going to get from your identity provider. Okay, on the opposite side, if you're configuring your identity provider, the thing that you are going to need is the callback or 
the assertion, um, this the assertion in consumer service URL or ACS URL, and that's the last URL back on this page that we go ahead and send the SAML assertion or SAML response back to. So taking this one step further, looking at our example, again, now I'm using Auth0 as my third-party ID provider and Google Cloud as my service provider. So in this case, my sign-in page is coming from Auth0, is being, uh, is being uh, generated on the Auth0 side and given that URL and configuring my cloud service provider side, in this case, the, uh, the Google Cloud. And I get this sign, in, sign out page URL from Auth0 and put, configure that in Google Cloud. And then I can go ahead and generate a certificate on the identity provider side and download that and configure that on the, um, on the Google Cloud side. On the opposite side, we have the, the callback or postback or the assertion consumer service URL that we need to configure on the Auth0 side. And that's going to be a URL that exists on the Google Cloud side. So let's go into a demo to kind of show you how this looks. Actually, let's do this. So what we're seeing here is we're looking at the, uh, the admin console in G Suite. And in our admin console, again, this is the, the Google side or the service provider side, I need to configure those URLs that I just spoke about. So here, I'm going to go into Security, I'm going to go into single sign-on, and I am going for option two, which is set up SSO with a third-party identity provider. Auth0 is my identity provider, and I get these URLs from the Auth0 side, from your identity provider. The sign-in URL, the sign-out URL, and I have to upload a certificate that I get from Auth0. Okay. And then we can see if we go down here and go back to home, go into users. I have about five users in this particular um, G Suite domain account. The ones that I've enabled are James and Christy Messino. And if I look in my identity provider side, if I look at my users that I have in, in, in my uh, third party identity provider store, I have Christy and James over here. So on the, on the uh, identity provider side, at least the way it's implemented in Auth0, what you're doing is to, to support the uh, SAML, your SAML uh, single sign-on flow. You create a client. You configure things like callback URL, ACS or callback URL allowed. And then we can go into add-ons and we can see Exactly. Um, again, we configure our ACS URL here, and, and then it goes through some of the things that are being sent back as part of that final SAML response or as part of the SAML assertion. Then in this area here, you can see it's all commented out, but we can customize what exactly gets sent back to our service provider in that SAML assertion that our identity provider is sending back. Okay, so let's see this thing run. So let me close this. So the first time that I run this, we're actually going to see, expect to see an error uh, because I am not sending the correct, by default, I've set up uh, uh, Auth0 kind of in default mode by creating the, this uh, SAML application or SAML client. And I haven't set anything specific. I'm just sending the default SAML assertion back, back to Google. So let me open an incognito window and go to GCP console. Okay, so we get prompted, and now if I enter one of the accounts in this domain, we should get redirected to our DID. Uh, to the IDP login page. 
So here we got redirected to the Auth0 login page. And I'll go ahead and enter my credentials here. And again, I'll see an error here that I have an invalid email. And that was expected, and I'm going to kind of go through a little bit of the troubleshooting on this as well, so you can understand kind of what's going on. So let me hit this, and just let me kind of clean out of here. So let me go through and actually cover one slide here. So I'll cover this. So the very first thing here, the very troubleshooting tip, is I have this invalid email. And if I go ahead and click on this link, and I say, and then look for this camera, login credentials cannot be verified. So go down here. And this actually talks about what the service provider is expecting in the SAML assertion response. So here we talk about the name ID. And in the name ID, it expects them either be the G Suite username or the full G Suite email address. So in this case, uh, name ID, if I go ahead and look, going back into here, what I'm going to see if I go back into the SAML2 app, and I run a debugging session. And I go ahead and type in username and password. And now I'm in kind of this debugging session. So you can see the exact SAML assertion that's being sent back. And specifically, if I look in the name ID and look at the value in the name ID, what I see is this value. So it's an internal Auth0 name ID. And going back to the troubleshooting page, and notice it either wants the G Suite username or the full G Suite email address instead of the internal name ID that Auth0 is sending back. So what I need to do is go back in here and let me do this. So instead of the, the internal user ID, I am going to send back the email and I'm going to uncomment this. So I'm only sending one attribute here. All right, let me go ahead and save this. Setting saved. All right, so now if I go ahead and open another incognito window, type in console, and it should get redirected. Okay, so now we got redirected, got authenticated by Auth0, sent back the SAML assertion or the SAML response back to Google, and Google said, 
this is the the right assertion, the right name ID is being sent back, and now starts a GCP console session with this particular user. So if I go in here, you can see that it is James at hncno.info. Okay, so that was a completely successful flow from beginning to end, uh, going through one little debugging step to see us uh, send the ex exact name ID that Google Cloud is expecting um, to get the, the full flow completed from start to finish. So let's talk a little bit about one other scenario, which I've seen come up. And I didn't run into it myself, but I have seen it come up on uh, the internet in a few posts, and that is the missing relay state. And again, uh, for this, there's also a, a troubleshooting article for this. And basically, we go here to that same document, and let me see if I can find this relay state missing. It talks about it here, but basically it's telling us that the relay state is being sent in the request coming from the service provider to our identity provider, and our, our identity provider needs to echo that same relay state back from my, as part of the assertion, back, back out to my uh, service provider coming as part of the SAML response. So it needs to be both in the SAML request coming from the service provider to the identity provider, and then the identity provider needs to echo it back from the identity provider back to the service provider. All right, so that was kind of what I wanted to cover today. Um, thank you very much for your time, and that concludes today's talk.